they said they were gonna be here, but that doesn't mean they're actually gonna show up. I don't know, five minutes? I just got here, and we're not even supposed to meet for another... Fuck, 15. Oh, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I got here early. You are constantly on my ass for being late to meetings, and now you're making fun of me for being punctual? Fucking double standard. No, I'm not gonna go inside and wait. Because if I go inside and sit down, or God forbid, wait in line and get up to order, and they're not here yet, I'm gonna look crazy or pathetic. Either one is a nightmare, and quite frankly, I'm already fighting the urge to walk in uncommon traffic. So, if you could just shut the fuck up. I am not nervous. Why the fuck would I be nervous? They're the ones that should be nervous. I'm the one that broke into their house. Come on, I'm hardly exaggerating. I broke into their house, asked them to coffee, and they're the ones that said yes? What are they fucking crazy? Fuck, I'll call you back. Hi. Hello. Uh. Hi. Um. I'm gonna regret asking this, but... How much of that did you hear? Cool. Cool. Love that. For me. No, no, as a matter of fact, that urge to walk in oncoming traffic has not subsided. Thank you. Um, doubled, actually. Speaking of which... <sighs> um, yeah, you're here. Great, let's go in. You can order whatever you want off the menu. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> this is an apology coffee. I'm not gonna limit your options. I can cover it. Go wild. Okay. Uh, if you want, I can go up, or the drinks, you can find us a table and, um, or you don't have to. I mean, shit, uh, Yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm doing, but... Look, I'm gonna level with you. I've never done this before. And you... You don't owe me anything. I mean, fuck it. The fact that you're actually here, letting me pay for your coffee is more than I can ask for after what I did. So, yeah, you don't have to stick around just for my sake. I mean, you have every right to take your coffee and just go. Oh. Uh, that's nice. Sure, so if you do want to stick around, uh, I've been to this place a couple times since moving. Uh, it's nice. There are some booths in the back corner. It's kind of isolated. To talk about things, magic, magic, magic things, not personal. It's just. Oh, wipe that fucking grin off your face. Go. Here you go. You didn't say what size you wanted, so I just got a large. Yeah. I told you, I can cover it. You're good. Just black for me. No. I've got some vices, but a sweet tooth is not one of them. So. You want to stick around? I'm assuming you have questions. Or some reason not to just take your coffee and run. Which I'm still kind of waiting for you to do by the way. Well, no, it's not that. It's just... <laughs> you want to talk to me? Okay. Then, let's talk. What do you want to know? <laughs> oh my god. You are not doing that first day of college. Give your name and a fun fact crap. Okay. Okay, sure. My name's Beth. 
I live apparently three doors down from you, and I have difficulties telling the difference between my couch and a stranger's couch when I'm tired. Your turn. <laughs> okay, favorite animal is boring. No, the pick was good, but the, the fun fact was boring. You can't come up with anything better than that? No, the first time you got plastered? Deepest fear? Come on, you're the one who wants to talk. <laughs> okay, that was a lot, but I asked for it, and I appreciate your honesty. I think we're isolated enough. We can talk about magic. Just don't ask me to shift and we're good. Mm, not much to tell, honestly. My pack and I moved here three months ago. Mm, two and a half, more like. Uh, small pack, just a couple of us, maybe half a dozen right now. The rest will be moving in in the next couple weeks, but it was just us starting off. Yeah, the whole pack. Um, well, half of the old... It doesn't matter. But, yeah, we're here now. Hmm? Oh, no, I, I didn't get in trouble when I went back home. I got some snarky comments from my pack, but that was the worst of it. Yeah, Alpha was fine with it. I mean, as fine as she could be. To be honest, I kind of got off easy. Well... <laughs> okay, yeah, technically I should have been reprimanded a little bit more for risking the safety of our identities and magic as a whole to a potential threat, but... Being the Alpha's best friend kind of gives me some leeway. <laughs> yeah, nothing but special treatment. And being the Beta of the pack also gives me a little bit of power. Yeah, best friend status definitely trumps being the Beta. That was not going to save me. Yeah. I am the official beta of our pack. Best friend's the alpha, and so far we haven't burned it to the ground, so counting it as a win. Okay, you've asked me, what, three questions in a row? Your turn. How long have you been in Glenwood? Hmm, nice. And do you work full-time here? Studying... Oh, no shit. No, I pass that place every day. Alright, cool. Uh, no, I just recently got a job. Uh, Simply Fits Tailor Shop? Yeah, I'm working there part-time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do a little sewing on the side. I mean, I got a degree in textiles and fashion marketing, so I might as well put it to some use. Yeah, I uh, studied fabrics and all that. Not the most interesting thing to study, but the result is really fucking cool. Uh, yeah, I've got a whole sketchbook at home filled with designs. I mean, I've got a whole binder filled with fabric patterns and all that shit. Sure. Yeah, I'd love to show you someday. I mean, they're fine. They put me through school, got me to graduate, but definitely not going on a runway anytime soon. But back to you, because you've been here longer than I have, so obviously my social skills aren't the best. And I haven't been here long enough, so what do you do around here? Where do you go to do stuff? What's the best places to eat? I want to know everything. 
I mean, I think your judgment's a little skewed, but... <laughs> but yeah, tell me everything. Okay, I officially cannot forgive you for that. You named a black cat Sandy. I don't care if you were 14. That is a crime against humanity, and the fact you didn't name it Salem is even worse. Okay, then explain it to me. Why did 14-year-old you think Sandy was a good name for a cat? Greek mythology phase. You didn't. Holy fucking shit, you didn't. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> you sick fucker. You named your cat after the seer? The one that was cursed to never be believed. You're a... You're a fucking monster. <laughs> oh my god. That is fucking evil. <laughs> oh my fucking god holy shit no no I don't think I need to learn anything else about you cause you are a fucking piece of work <laughs> oh you're a sick bastard I never said I didn't like it though well no that's not the only fact I know about you I also know you're a freak <laughs> Well, forgive me, but I don't believe that for a second. No, because don't think I forgot about that little tidbit you gave me when we first met. You said you had a vision that you saw me shifting, coming into your house, and at some point throwing you against a wall, and that is the only reason you weren't pissing yourself. Okay, smartass, fair enough. But that doesn't negate the fact that you knew some stranger was going to break into your house, albeit on accident, come into your house, throw you against a wall, threaten your life, and instead of preemptively calling the cops, you unlock the door. <laughs> oh, come on, where's that smart mouth of yours? You've been running it this entire time. What happened? Hey, listen, no judgment. I mean, I can respect the fact that you saw the opportunity as it presented itself and you took it. I mean, yeah, and then I asked you on a date, but... I, th no. Sh shut up. Shut up. This is not a date. This is... This is not a date. Shut... Shut your fucking mouth. No, because if it was an actual date, you'd know. Well... For one thing, I'd be romancing the fuck out of you, and I'd be all smooth and charming and calling you pet names like, I don't know, beautiful or something. This is not a date. This is two semi-strangers getting to know each other over coffee, which is not a date. No matter how much it sounds like that. Hey, um, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. If I went too far, I'm sorry. No, no, you just got really tense all of a sudden. Are you okay? I, I can back off. Uh, yeah, I remember the vision you had. I mean, you didn't tell me what it was, but I remember your eyes sh shifted. I mean, your eye color changed, and you know, it was like you weren't even there anymore. You saw me again? Oh, you saw us. Oh. Oh. You, you saw... Us. Like, like, doing something? Oh my god. Do not fucking scare me like that, Jesus. <laughs> Okay, what, what were we doing exactly? Moving boxes. Oh, okay. That's... That doesn't mean anything. It, it doesn't have to, at, at least. 
would... Okay, I mean... Would that be such a bad thing? Never mind, don't, don't answer that. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just trying to think of the right words to say, because that's something. Definitely something. Okay, look, I'm going to be honest. I liked talking to you today. This was nice. I don't meet a lot of people, and meeting you has been good. All of your terrible humor aside. But I have no expectation for this. And, and your visions, they're not 100% accurate, right? Things can change, and just the smallest action can completely alter a vision. And I, I don't want you to feel like you have to, I don't know, ensure that the vision comes true if, if you don't want that. You don't have to be bound to that. Neither of us do. I mean, we just, we just met. I don't like you like that yet and, and we don't even know that's what it was that could have been anything it could have just been me moving you into your new apartment cause I'm a good person yeah it sounded like bullshit when I said it but go with it but all that aside it's up to you I mean this is gonna sound kind of selfish, but is that why you said yes to coffee with me? Because of your vision? Just to move things along? Okay. That's, that's good to know. Um, look, I really don't like the idea of forcing anything just because you had a, a three-second vision that doesn't dictate either of our lives. It doesn't have to mean anything if you don't want it to. So I want to leave it up to you. It's your call. Your gift. Your power. Your decision. If the idea of that vision isn't something you want then I can get up and walk out of this cafe right now. Or I can stay. And we see where this goes. If it goes anywhere. But it's up to you. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd like that. I like getting to know you. And getting closer to you doesn't sound awful. Okay. Then it's settled. I gotta get going soon. It's getting late. No, I'm running the pack meeting tonight. While our alpha's off on business, I'm running things tonight. So, fingers crossed for that mess. But I don't have to be at the meeting for another two hours. We could stick around here for a little while, top off your drink, and if you wouldn't mind, I can walk you home. <laughs> yes, because I am very familiar with where you live. Alright, you little shit. Get your giggles out now. I'm gonna get us another round. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs>